okay um quickly we're still this is lesson three in our series of igcse biology now i have a quick starter activity here and it's a question where they say describe the population growth of nigeria uh, in which in your answer you should include the general trend so general trend find out that from 1975 to 2025 predicted the population is doing what is increasing that's the general trend now if i want to bring in statistics in 1985 in sorry in 1975 the population is around um, the value they're giving to us is six three three seven four um thousand uh, they're about uh, using this key here then by 2005 it has moved to by 2005 in 2005 uh, the population has now increased to around 138865 now the last part of the question is they said these reasons for this trend now why has the population change continued to increase now the reason why population change will increase is because of there is high birth rate high birth rate the population will increase and also reason will be low death rate we make population increase so you just give the reasons for high birth rate and low death rate now if you don't if you can't remember that you can please check the lesson uh, one on population dynamics now here in this third lesson we're going to look at still population dynamics but in this case we look at over and under population so quickly let's look at uh, the learning objective the learning objective is to describe the causes and impact of overpopulation and underpopulation so the major aspect we will we'll focus on is causes and impact of over and underpopulation now there are keywords here and i bring decide to bring in resources and um, there are different types of resources though we have natural resources uh, which are things like air water river vegetation land and we have man-made resources like machines like vehicles like roads now you find out that here we have underpopulation, overpopulation, and optimum population. Now, this is the relationship between population and resources. So when we come here, uh, look at the definition of those three phases. Now, underpopulation is when there is less people than available resources. So if you look at this diagram, you find out that the resources is more. Here we have more resources and we have less people. So that will be underpopulated. Then optimum population is when the available resources and people are equal. So it is balanced. Then overpopulation is when the people are more than the resource that is available within that region. Now, let's look at overpopulation. Causes of overpopulation is the same thing as the causes of birth rate, high birth rate. So the reasons for high birth rate is the same thing as the reasons, the major reasons that causes overpopulation. Um, so if you want to look at the reasons that causes high birth rate, please refer to refer to lesson one. Very important. Now you find out that this overpopulation, remember the resources is less, so you have lack of resources, you have things like high birth rate. So once you remember these two, lack of resources and high birth rate, now the other point you need to bring in is the multiplier effect which are what is the reasons why there is high birth rate lack of contraceptives uh, agriculturally based society religious belief uh, against the use of contraceptives agricultural based society preference for we have preference for male child which is um, to which increase their their status within the community early marriages so you can check back for a uh, uh, clarification on that aspect now we also have impact of overpopulation if the population in an area is high what is the impact remember i told you that the impact of high population growth rate is the same thing as the impact for overpopulation and i treated that aspect in lesson two so you can also check that out but i think i explained this also here so let's quickly move into it impact of overpopulation one of the major impact of overpopulation is lack of housing. So you can see from the image. So you have overcrowded housing. You have things like shanty towns. Now, when there is a lot of people, it will now create pressure on healthcare. Uh, a lot of people will lead to deforestation. When there is a lot of people, it will look, lead to lack of unemployment and also low wages. When there is a lot of people, it will also bring about pressure 
on educational facilities when there's a lot of people it will lead to poverty when there's a lot of people it will lead to lack of food farmland which will eventually lead to starvation then also um, another impact of overpopulation is traffic congestion um, pressure there will be pressure on sanitation lot, lots of water and waste dispose, uh, disposal problems uh, there will be pressure on electricity and there will definitely be fuel shortages and power failures there will be lack of water uh, for the major community and high number of people will also affect the environment which will lead to air and water pollution now so let's move to underpopulation now underpopulation is when there are more resources than people so what are the major causes of this uh, underpopulation is when you have small population size uh, things like uh, extreme climate like desert regions usually are, are underpopulated where you have poor access if the region is landlocked um, landlocked region are regions that don't have access to the sea uh, where you have large amount of resources so there is a lot of resources for and there is less people becomes underpopulated now it leads to large amount of outward migration what that means is so this should be a point what that means is there's a lot of people leaving the region to other regions uh, that will lead to underpopulation also when you have low birth rate and there is increased use of contraceptives and family planning so one of the major way you can also remember this if you can remember factors that lead to low birth rate they also cause a decline in population now impact of underpopulation when there is underpopulation there will first be fewer people will be available to be paying tax uh, which can lead to higher tax for those that are working now underused resources which can lead to wastage of resources a shortage of workers now a lower level of export and production which affects the wealth of a region there will be fewer customers for goods and services so certain services will even have to close down because there will be nobody that will patronize it now there will be such country will be difficult to defend because there won't be a lot of people enrolling into the army of that region so with this we are done with over and under population thank you so much and uh, see you in lesson four